So when I was a kid, um, I wouldn't exactly say I excelled at school. I was that kid in the back of the class who would rather be drawing. And I knew that I was creative, but it didn't seem to be that school was the place where I could really use my gifts. And that was right up until a point where a teacher came to the school and kind of changed the way my understanding of school works. And what was amazing about a teacher that understood that, that uh, I was going to be in my own universe for a while was that they created an environment where my natural creativity could grow. And I chased that through a number of different companies right up until I came to UB. And I joined about five and a half years ago. And I remember fast forwarding to that time and thinking at three months in, okay, I've got that feeling again. I was there when we shipped Prince of Persia at the Sense of Time. That game in itself was revitalizing a beloved franchise. But that very team I was part of didn't want to make the following sequel. What we've been building was so strong and we felt so strongly about it, we decided this, this could be something bigger. The management was expecting the sequel of Prince of Persia. We gave them what would become Assassin's Creed. This reminds me the, uh, the development of the, the original Splinter Cell back in early 2000s. There was this moment where we, we had to make a strong call on should we push further the R&D to reach and, and achieve on this dynamic lighting system or are we playing it safe? We knew that we, because of our empowerment, because of our bet, we then have only six months left to produce a, a whole game that we mostly need to redesign from scratch. Uh, looking back, uh, this innovation was uh, the missing link between the true fantasy and, and the core gameplay, and this is uh, truly what has made Splinter Cell as successful as we know it. C'est-à-dire qu'on ne recherche pas juste le fun, on est toujours poussé, challengé à aller enrichir la vie des joueurs, à ce qu'ils ressortent avec quelque chose de plus qu'un simple moment de plaisir. Je me souviens bien, moi, de, de, du moment à, à, après Assassin. C'est un gros succès commercial, mais à des critiques mitigées. Et là, euh, Manda nous est donné de prouver que euh, cette marque a vraiment du potentiel. Et le, le, pour moi, le, setting, le choix du setting d'Assassin 2, la Renaissance italienne, c'est l'exemple parfait pour montrer que Ubisoft est ce genre de compagnie qui pense que rencontrer Léonard de Vinci, jouer avec Lorenzo de Medici, a autant de valeur que d'avoir des dragons ou des boules de feu. Et c'est cette conviction que enrichir la vie des joueurs, leur faire vivre quelque chose, leur permettre de comprendre le monde dans lequel on vit, a une valeur qui va mener au succès. Back in 2014, as executive producer of the crew, I realized that some people were still questioning the potential of the game. We came up with the idea to open up the game to the gamers as early in the development stage as Alpha. In the end, who would be better than the players themselves to tell their friends how much fun they were having playing the game? We made the bold decision to propose to Ubisoft top management something we have not yet experienced as a group. Obviously, it was not a peaceful journey for us. We tried a lot of things, we made a lot of mistakes, we learned a lot. But we would not let it go, and we did not. We had the best partners, we had trust from top management, and we never give up. And today, it's still the number one racing game on the market. Une histoire qui est géniale, c'est en 2008, le studio Massive, basé en Suède, est mis en vente par son propriétaire. Et à l'époque, il n'y a vraiment pas beaucoup d'acheteurs, et seul Ubisoft s'y intéresse vraiment. Et donc, Comme à chaque fois dans la stratégie financière d'Ubisoft, le pari qui est fait, c'est le pari du contenu, c'est le pari de l'expérience pour, pour le joueur, c'est le pari de l'innovation. Et donc nous investissons à long terme dans cette, dans cette équipe, nous apportons la connaissance d'Ubisoft, les savoir-faire d'Ubisoft dans la création. Et euh, en 2016, ils sont venus avec The Division, qui est le plus gros lancement d'une nouvelle marque de toute l'histoire du jeu vidéo. When we create business partnerships, it's critical that we can choose who we work with. From film and production studios and TV networks to Hollywood talent, online creators, hardware makers, we can choose, we are in control, and this is getting us the best result possible. C'est pour ça que j'aime travailler à Ubisoft. C'est parce que je sais que c'est un, un terrain de jeu immense où tout est possible. C'est un vrai open world où toutes les opportunités auront leur chance de se développer, où toutes nos idées de créateurs auront la chance d'être écoutées. C'est pour ça que moi je suis encore là aujourd'hui, c'est pour ça que je peux dire fièrement « We are Ubisoft ». We are Ubisoft. Nous sommes Ubisoft. We are Ubisoft.
We are Ubisoft. We are Ubisoft. Since we are Ubisoft, I have one question for you. What future will you make?